everybody, it's Monica with your best female figure and today I'm back with Vlogtober 28 and 29. So on Wednesday the 28th, Wednesday is the day that I teach Cabaret Dance Fitness. It's also the day that I do the choreography for that class if I'm doing new choreography and I was and it took me two hours which is unusual. I can usually choreograph a lot faster than that. So two hours I was dancing at home working on this and then I went and taught class so that was another hour of choreography and I just didn't really want to do any kind of strength training so I went for a walk after that uh, I walked I think for half an hour and then I stretched but I do want to show you some of the moves from cabaret dance fitness that can help you get a better booty and a smaller core so this first one is a very deep lunge where your back knee is touching the floor. Um, there are various ways that you can get into it um, and working with a boa is really great for that. So you toss the boa on the floor and then your job is to lunge down super deep and pick it up. Notice how far down my knee is. You really need to open your legs wide so that doesn't bother your knees um, and then you just slowly come up making sure to recruit your glutes. Now if that is a little bit too intense for you, you can also practice smaller lunges like the ones I'm doing right here. This is a lunge movement pattern. So even though it doesn't really look like a traditional lunge, that is what it is. And you can just start slow, going deeper and deeper each time. You can add some rotation in the hips, um, switch sides, and you can do this stuff after your workouts for, you know, even more glute and core work. if that's what you feel like doing that particular day. So notice how I'm going deeper and deeper every time and now I'm gonna go all the way to the floor and then you just work with that boa and if you stay down on the floor, you're gonna work your glute a lot harder coming up because you're getting a really good stretch when you're down there. Next move is really simple, it's a bend and snap. So you're bending from the hip and you're just kind of snapping back up by using your deep abdominals. So this is all core work. And in yoga, that is a triangle pose, except that in burlesque, you just kind of do it more sexy. You might put a little bend in the knee um, and you can work the boa any way you like. You can have it around your neck and then pull it down off of you, or you can have it on the floor. And then as you bend and snap, pull it back up onto you. Um, this is a really great exercise for activating your core. Next move is a balance squat to booty pop. So you're going to squat really, really deep and balance on the balls of your feet and then you're gonna pop your booty back and up. So you're basically doing a sumo squat to a good morning kind of deadlift movement. You can do it with your legs together. You could also do it with your legs apart if you're trying to do a little bit more raunchy movement. Um, and you can have the boa on the floor and go down to pick it up or you can have it around your neck and then just play with it as you're down in that balance squat or as you're popping the booty back. You can also have it right underneath your butt to you know, highlight your assets and kind of play around with it and then start to squat down, um, really balancing on the balls of the feet. That's gonna work your legs and your calves and then you're just gonna pop that booty back by squeezing your deep abdominals really hard and bending from the hips and not the waist. I left all the music in the video so that you can listen to the kind of stuff that is really great for doing this type of movement. You don't want to play fast music, you want to play something that's slow and sultry that kind of lets you really work at a slow tempo. Now this last move is like what you see uh, ballroom dancers doing when they swivel the feet and then they swivel the hips back and forth, but they do it a lot faster. So in burlesque you're in heels and a lot of times you're kind of turning around and you're swiveling the hips around. But what you're actually doing is you're using your deep abdominals to turn. So you have to really contract deep inside to do that turn. Now this last move is completely optional, but it's really fun and it's also about using your deep abdominals to thrust the hips forward. So you got the boa between the legs and you're just squeezing your deep abs and pushing it forward. Um, and you can do it from a whole lot of different positions. This is just a few of them. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed day 28. Now we're on to day 29, which was a very intense workout.
So the circuit is super simple and it goes by really, really fast. It's five by five by five. Five exercises back to back up to five rounds and five ways to do it. I will post all five ways to do it over on the blog. Um, so it's really simple. You're gonna start with an alternating overhead press sumo squat. Notice how I'm putting the weight down on the floor every time. So even though you're doing 15 to 16 squats, uh, you're actually doing double that because you're squatting twice every single time. Uh, after that, you're going to do a dumbbell swing, making sure to really, you know, use your glutes and your deep abdominals primarily for that exercise. Then you're going to do a resistance band squat jump, making sure to get that butt way down. You don't want to just be bending from the waist. You really want to squat down deep. Then you're going to do a traveling squat with a medicine ball toss. That medicine ball weighs about 10 pounds and the weights that I was using before were 10 pounds and 15 pounds to start. So with this exercise, it's also really important that you squat way down. Otherwise you're going to hurt your low back um, and your knees because of that traveling movement is putting a little bit more pressure on all your joints. Um, the last exercise is a close stance squat with a chop. That ball weighs six pounds and the point of that exercise is to do it as quickly as possible. The entire circuit took me exactly four minutes and if you do it five times that's 20 minute workout and it's pretty intense. You just got to keep moving, no breaks between exercises, no breaks between circuits. If five rounds is too much you can also just aim for four rounds. That's pretty great. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has been helpful. I will be back tomorrow with more exercises and tips to help you get your best female figure. Thank you so much for watching.